What's happening, webheads? Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Spider Slayer, and we're continuing my coverage on my entire comic book collection. Over 70 short boxes. I've been sharing it with you guys. Today, we are headed to box number six. I still don't know which box I'm going to show you. I don't know if it's going to be indie, DC, Marvel, Spider-Man, who knows? I'll come to a decision in a minute. If this is the first time that you guys are tuning into this, don't worry. There is a playlist where you can see 70s short box collection. Click on it. You can watch all those. But I promise you, it's going to take a while, but we're going through going we're going to cut through every single one of these boxes so if this is what you like if you love daily comic book content guys don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and with that being said let's dive into the next short box so here we go random indie box i have no idea what's in this box obviously we take out the lid and this box is full right i wouldn't recommend filling your comic boxes this full but this one is shoved tight this could be before 2019 maybe 2018 2017 we'll see what's in here all right so here we go first book what are we gonna snag out of here guys all right this is chew wario a uh, wario <laughs> warrior chicken pollo uh this is a wonderful series i've always said that chew is a book that you guys should check out great cover right there i'm trying to find the issue number of the chew but i don't know if that's on one shot so let's see we have chew issue 43 i have this entire series obviously spread out in multiple boxes um and i've always given this book a lot of praise so here we go. We got Chew issue number 44. We got a couple books here shoved in here with no bags and boards, which is never good, right? I would never recommend that to you guys. So I have bags and boards now, and I'll probably shove them in there. So here we go. We got issue 42, 45. So we got that. And then we have Life with Archie. This is a $5 comic book right here. Okay, so there's that. I'm just getting started here. Manifest Destiny. This is issue seven. This series early on is phenomenal. I mean, that first story arc is so, so good. Re recommend that first trade. All right, and then we have issue number eight. Another, another bag and board. Jeez, man. Come on. How sloppy was I back then, huh? This is issue number 10. Creepy little cover right there. I got issue number 11. Oh, and then we have some good books here. Invincible. I got to find the earlier issues of Invincible. This is issue... 112. This is issue 113. I should definitely look these books up and see what their value is. So that's issue 113. We have issue 114. We have Outcast. I don't even know. Issue 2. Okay, let's see what else is in here. More unbagged and boarded stuff, I think. There's an issue of Invincible. I'll be pissed. Oh, the good. It's Outcast. Who cares about that? That was a Robert Kirkman book, but I didn't like. Here we go. Invincible issue 115. Great cover here. I think it's Battle Beast, I think his name is. Uh, I don't know if this is a key. I don't know when he showed up, but uh, that's insane. I have to look that book up. All right, and then, yes, we got more unbagged and boarded stuff. That's Saga. That's chapter 20. Here is Saga 21. Let's see, we got Starlight. This is issue four from Mark Miller. Oh, man, this series is going back quite a way, and this is most recently in his new book as well, that character. 
Then we have 22 of Saga. And we have chapter 23 of Saga. Early Saga issues were so good, man. Chapter 24. Oh, Savage Dragon issue zero. I got to put that in my Savage Dragon box. This is the origin issue, so I'll put that to the side. Then we have the original series. That's issue one. Huge Savage Dragon fan, even though it's a little weird these days. Then we have the Savage Dragon and the uh, versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Right? Did you guys know that that even existed? I totally forgot that existed. Then we have Savage Dragon issue three. I do. I totally have a separate Savage Dragon box, so I got to put this stuff in there. It's perfect timing to get organized, Mr. Mike Spider Slayer. Then we have Savage Dragon issue four. I want to know, in a show of hands, and be honest, okay, guys, it's okay if you read Savage Dragon. I just want to know if you guys have read it before. There's issue five. There's issue six. I remember hunting these down. There's issue seven in Acme Comics over in Longwood, where close to where I live. And I was like, oh, I want to get all the Savage Dragon comics. Because that's when I um, got back into comic collecting again. And I remembered I collected Savage Dragon. So I was like, oh, I want to find them all. And they were so super cheap, you know? Three bucks per issue. This, that's issue nine. There's issue 10. And the way this character is, is he ages in real time. And now he's got a son and his son has kids and he does all the crime fighting. So it's a really cool story in very many ways. Issue 12. There's issue 13. Check out that cover, man. That's really good. There's issue... 13, I guess a variant cover there. And he always over-sexualizes his characters, though. Sometimes he just goes a little bit too far. So issue 14. There's issue 15. It's issue 16. Issue 17, look at that. What does that remind you of, guys? Come on, homage to the Amazing Spider-Man with Venom on there. That's crazy. Because he did that cover, right? Issue 19. Issue 20. Issue 21. Issue 22. Issue 23. Character looks so much like Storm. That's hilarious. There's issue 24. That character's name is Mako. There's issue 26. There's issue 27. There's issue, tw uh, issue 30, where he teams up with Spawn. There's issue 34. It's issue 36. Let's see, we got issue 37. 38. Man, I must have spent a lot of money at one time. There's 40. Forty-one. There's forty oh no, it jumps big time. Holy cow. 118. So this is must have when I started collecting again and I got into the actual character. So we got 121. 
we have issue 50 that's a big jump so that's a double sized issue right there so i'll have to put that back in order 119 as he's punching out president bush that's insane here's 120 the vote is in <laughs> 126 140 as you got invincible dragon um what's her name spawn and then we have 141 142 145 with Barack, Barack Obama on it 146 147 148 free comic book day 149 with the character dart she's a pretty awesome character man then we have 150 100 pages for six bucks i don't think this whole thing is savage dragon 151 that cool mako cover oh this is sick right here 152 look at that man then we have 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, The Dragon War, 158, 159 it's like a remade cover 160 161 162 man i'll have a new place to put independent books again 163 164 165 166 so that's his son malcolm dragon 167 168 169 170 171 172 173 174 hey at least if anything you get to see all the covers for savage dragon 175 176 we got 177 wow that's crazy man i remember getting this we have 178 179 180 181 182 183 184 185 or no that's one actually 188 186 so it's a little out of order that's why an unbagged and boarded copy of 187 189 here we have 190 and 191 193 we have savage dragon 194 
195. So this is Malcolm Dragon's um, girlfriend by the name of Maxine. And she's like a nymphomaniac. And this is issue 196. <laughs> this is crazy. 197. 198. We have 199. We have the spectacular 200th issue of Ta Savage Dragon. We move on to 201. Crazy image there of Malcolm fighting Dart. And then we have 202. We have 203. We have 204. For some reason, Angel's going against Malcolm there. We have 205. 206. 207. 208. <laughs> 209. She's pregnant and he's having cold feet. So that's 209. We have 210. 211. Two twelve. <laughs> Are giving birth. That's two thirteen. <laughs> oh god. This is two fourteen. Two fifteen. Here for two sixteen. He's teaming up with the ant. Here we got 217. 218. 218. There's got to be more in here besides Savage Dragon. 219. I told, I said to you guys before in the past, I've got a whole run of this. 220. I've read every single one of these. 221. See, we got 222. There's gotta be something else. 223. 224. 227. We got 228. 229. We have 231. This is into the Sinister Sex Dolls. Yeah, let's go. 232. And that is all the Savage Dragon. So we move on to the next title here. And it is We Stand on Guard by Brian K. Vaughn. If you guys never read this book, this is so good. Uh, I would have to go back and reread this because I can't remember anything. But I remember I really, really enjoyed it. So that's a good book to read here. And then here we have issue two. Issue three. Oh, look, just when we thought we were done, we have issue 230. <laughs> and then we have We Stand on Guard issue four. That's pretty awesome, man. And then we have issue five. And then we have this book. I remember this book. It was actually really well written. Uh, Penny Dora, The Wishing Box. So that was actually a fun story where you could read with, you know, a family and, and whatnot. So that was good. That's issue two, three. I remember this girl. She wanted to be like the queen. It was pretty good. That's four. And let's see. This one is five. So we got five there. And then we have Chrononauts, the original story from Mark Miller. So that's issue one. 
There's issue three. I don't know where issue two is. There's issue four. Oh, look, and then we have Marvel Zombies. Is this the original one, or is this a reprint? I think it's a reprint. I don't think this is the original. It's got to be like a... It's a dollar. Yeah, this is a like a fake copy or something like that. There's no way. Oh, and then we have this... A couple Green Hornet books here. Uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. That's why I bought this book. So that's a really nice looking cover right there. Oh, it's got a certificate of authenticity on it. So that's really cool. So is this one signed then? Like, where's it signed? Let me check it out. Issue the certificate of authenticity is this copy of Kevin Smith's Green Hornet issue one. J. Scott Campbell, kick ass retailer, shared exclusive cover as one of a VIP limited edition for ComicCentral.com. Oh, so this is literally, this was an exclusive to my comic shop. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a nice cover too. And then we got this one, that's issue two. All right, so there you have it. It may not be the sexiest box, but it sure is savage. <laughs> it's so lame, dude. But hopefully, I guess you might have enjoyed this episode. Maybe not. But hopefully next episode will be a better box of some better keys and stuff like that. But like I said, at least you got to see some cool Savage Dragon covers. Guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right next to me for you to click on in fact this is my newest video on what's going on with the fall of x stuff why don't you check that one out and of course guys as always keep buying keep collecting but more importantly always read those comics guys i'll see you real soon take care bye